There's plenty to be said for the advantages of remote client work. Don't get me wrong, I think it opens up all sorts of doors and new opportunities. But let's be honest, there are some drawbacks and one of the drawbacks is the ability to communicate and stay in sync, especially if you're in a different time zone, if you're working across different teams, or if you're a consultant or freelancer trying to enter into an existing team or workflow, how can you effectively get up to speed as quickly as possible, onboard your clients, and ensure that you have the best possible communication throughout the project. That's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. We're gonna walk through a four part workspace to help improve your client communications. First, we'll discuss the meeting notes and call sessions database. We'll discuss the draft and feedback area. Then there's a project assets and research database to discuss. And finally, we have a little table or database to help everyone share their account passwords and users. This video is part of a larger series covering the shared client workspace. If you're interested in the full workspace, you can head over to landmarklabs.co and duplicate it for yourself. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss these four blocks. If you're just coming into this video without the, the full workspace, you'll have a slightly different view, but these are what we're gonna be covering for now. And as a first step, we're going to discuss this calls and meeting notes database. When you click in, you'll immediately see a table view, which is going to show very quickly the name of the session, the scheduled time, the topics that were covered or that are planned to be covered, a meeting link if you are meeting online and once you do share this with your client you can also click into here and select any people that will be attending this call it looks like i'll just be talking to myself on this one but that's fine when we click into the actual call page there is a an automated agenda or template which we can click up if you'd like if you have a a bit of a flow that you like to follow you can actually edit the template directly by clicking these three dots here this will help you edit the call agenda you can change this to maybe you have some revolutionary four item agenda and that's your go-to now when i click in and i hit this agenda template it's going to show me the new edits directly in this area with an error perfect Along with the calls, you will see a drafts and feedback area. Currently, this is organized just in three categories. The first is anything that is to review. If I click in here, I can write any notes about this particular part of the project. Once it's been reviewed, either me or the client can move this and they have access to, to update the status of this feedback reviewed. And if I wanna add any feedback or comments, I can do so directly into this section. While the drafts and feedback area is good for any ongoing or works in progress, the project assets and research is where the client can dump any useful company documents, research, background, statistics, figures, decks, things that will help you get up to speed without having to ask them um, over and over again for a bunch of different documents. They can just dump it all in here. There are a few groups already set in here, but of course you can, you can adjust this as you like. We're also doubling up and using this space as a research database. So if you do go, go away and um, if part of the project is to do some market research or to find maybe if you're in design, maybe there's kind of a mood board or some inspiration that you wanna add, you can also include that in this database. If you're interested in kind of speeding up that process, you can also check out our video on the Notion Web Clipper and using that as a prospecting tool. You can also use that for your research, link this particular uh, database to the Web Clipper and any, any competitors, any research that you find, you can quickly add it to this research section of the database. And finally, I'm sure many of us have experienced the pain of requesting various usernames and passwords from our clients. So anything that's relevant 
for a particular project, the client and yourself can add the details here. You, there's also a status bar where you can say whether or not you have been invited, you've received the invitation, you've opened it, or if you've actually accessed the account and all is clear. And that's it really, just four little tools and databases to help you kind of synchronize and streamline your client communications on your next project once embedded inside of the larger project OS. Those spaces can be quite helpful, but if you just like to use those four sections, feel free to duplicate this block and add it into your own.